more time when you take a drink of coffee. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Uh, Nick from Practically Tactical here. So doing a little, kind of a little different thing uh, than we usually do of shows or videos, but I wanted to post this up because I think it's a very interesting and important question that uh, was posed to me uh, the past week. So past 10 days or nine days or whatever it was, uh, I spent up in Michigan hanging out and filming uh, William Petty of Central Fuse Training. Boom, right here, the vehicle CQB stuff. Uh, Trek from MDFI. Uh, got to hang out and just watch them instruct. Amazing time. But uh, something I want to pose to you guys and kind of expand on it, because I think it's an important thing to think about in a couple different aspects, is um, what is your legacy? And so here's what I mean by that. So beginning of every class, uh, you know, Will has this amazing opening brief, uh, medical, you know, mindset. Uh, but he talks about what is your legacy. So the beginning of his class, he talks about uh, in regards to what is your legacy. Are you basically the dude that ends up shooting another dude in class? Because that will be your legacy. Um, if you know, if you don't show up and get your mind in the game. And, and be on point, you know, it doesn't matter if you're an amazing dad. It doesn't matter. I don't know if you guys can hear my dryer going. It doesn't matter if you're a stay-at-home dad doing laundry. It doesn't matter if you're an amazing cop. It doesn't matter if you're an amazing IT dude. It doesn't matter how many kids you have, uh, where you went to church, where you went to school, uh, what you do in your community. None of that matters because your legacy can be defined with one pull of the trigger. And I, I thought that's an amazing point, and I, and I kind of want to take that and expand on it because I'm not good at coming up with original ideas. Uh, but I think I'm pretty good at talking about it and taking stuff and putting it towards us is those of us that are in the Second Amendment community, those of us um, that support freedom, those of us that carry a gun every single day to defend ourselves, our loved ones, and potentially others, what would our legacy be? Uh, we, I was up there in Michigan for 10 days during vehicle CQB, advanced vehicle CQB, and during that time when I was there, there was two bad slash negligent uh, shootings in Michigan. One was there was a woman being attacked by a dog. Concealed carry pulls out. Four rounds. Miss maybe have hit the dog. Anyways, he killed the woman getting attacked, which not doing your job, dude. Um, then there was another one of something happening. I, I don't know the whole, whole details. Um, dude pulls out to shoot. Uh, his cousin ends up running in. And then he ends up uh, hitting uh, his cousin with four rounds. There's four rounds. I can't remember which story it was. But anyways, um, those people's legacies were defined at that moment. Uh, the person that, that pulled out their gun to try to save that woman, he's not known for saving a woman from an attacking dog. He's not known for being great at his job. He's not known for being a great parent. He's not known for all these amazing things he did for charity. He's now known as that dude who killed this woman. The other dude is now known for killing his cousin. It doesn't matter what you did in the past. It doesn't matter how amazing of a person you were. Those person's legacy were defined with a pull of a trigger. If I had to bet, other than their CCW, which in my opinion is a qualification, not training, they didn't have any more training. So what I pose to you guys is, what is your legacy? Is it that you took this training, uh, that you prepared yourself for the worst possible scenario, you never had to use it, and you were a great person. You did all th these things, which would be awesome. Or you were this dude who trains, prepares, and when the time calls, did exactly what he was supposed to do uh, and is known for the other good stuff, which is yay. Or are you the dude that got a CCW, CHL, whatever, thought that was your gunfighter license? You literally never prepared yourself, honestly, for a time when you actually had to save yourself or somebody else. You pull out that gun and you miss who you're trying to stop, and you killed four-year-old Sally, then your legacy is now defined as the person who shot a four-year-old that didn't deserve it. So I think it's something that's incredibly important to think about because those people now in Michigan represent all of us, whether we like it or not. We know that there's good and bads in every industry, into every hobby, and into everything. However, when we look at it from a more global perspective, those people, those concealed carriers, those gun nuts now represent all of us. And I would like to bet had we maybe, you know, gotten a little more, had they maybe gotten a little more training, uh, taken some training that, you know what, those might not have happened. Um, so again, I pose to you, what would your legacy be if you had to pull out and use that gun? 
if you had to pull out and stop a threat to save your life at 10 yards, 15 yards, 25 yards, maybe it's not even a gun at all. That's the best situation. Maybe you didn't go to that gun and that's what saves your legacy. So I think it's something to think about. I think it's something that's really incredibly important to talk about. Again, uh, we all love guns. We all love this cool stuff. But just remember, with one pull of the trigger, your legacy can be defined. So uh, something to think about, guys. Uh, let me know what your legacy is in the bottom. I, I would be interesting to hear this conversation and uh, pose this to others. You know, there's a lot of dudes out there that are getting out and training, and that's awesome, uh, and that have uh, a really hard time, like, getting their other friends out and training. Um, so pose this question to them of what would their legacy be if they had to pull that gun out at 25 yards to save their life and there's a four-year-old to the left or to the right. What do you think their legacy would be? So there's, guys, something to think about. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Uh, stay tuned for a bunch of content coming out here shortly on the channel. Also, all the pictures from the vehicle CQB class are posted up at practicallytactical.com. Uh, link in the description box below, of course. Go check out all of our sponsors, and there's tons of – ways to save money down there as well. Uh, so take advantage of that. Visit the website. Lots of new shows and videos coming out soon. Take care again. What would your legacy be?